Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and at the moment I'm doing a little bit of Flish Flingers. Um, actually, just finished a game here where I got uh, all four medals, which is great. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get on the podium. I have been getting on this uh, top five thing a lot. I think the highest I got was number three, but I, I've been getting like number four or number five every single game, so I must be at least learning how to do this mini game correctly. But anyway, I have been fishing, and I wanted to show you guys a really cool method of fishing that actually someone showed me yesterday. Um, but anyway, I was originally thinking of C2 fishing to 99, because um, I, I enjoy C2 fishing, don't get me wrong. But uh, today I have just been absolutely exhausted, had hardly any sleep last night, and I really needed a more relaxing method of fishing. Fish flingers can be kind of relaxing, but anyway... Uh, this is barbarian fishing, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it here. Again, uh, I did not find this method myself. I had someone tell it to me. But anyway, uh, what you want to do is be on fixed screen, which is a, a terrible sin, and I absolutely hate being on fixed screen, but I have to deal with it. Um, and you have to uh, actually minimize your game chat, and you have to have your action bar up with all the fish that you can catch on your action bar. And you also have to be on number of mouse buttons you want to be on one mouse button and what you can do with this is you can either click on uh, the lower part of the fish that's on your action bar and you can just double click because um, if you only have one mouse button a right click and a left click both have the same function so you can just left click and drop it that way or if you have mouse keys set up which I'm not going to be showing you guys how to because I am on a Windows Vista and most people do not have Windows Vista most people have like Windows 7 and Windows 8 um, and I know uh, setting up mouse keys is different on different operating systems so I'm, I can't show you guys how to do that but if you just Google search it it's really easy uh, that's what I did I just Google searched it and the very first option that came up told me exactly how to turn mouse keys on but if you do that you can use the plus button on your keyboard on your number pad um, I'm not sure if it works on laptops that don't have a number pad but uh, for desktops if you're a sensible person you should be playing on desktop and what you can do is just press the plus key and that acts as a double click so it acts as two mouse clicks every time you press it and if you just keep that on the lower half of the fish here and just press the plus key it drops them immediately which is awesome it's um, obviously a little less convenient than if these fish had a drop option instead of a gut option for the clicking I mean really no one would ever gut these if there was a drop option there'd be no reason to but uh, anyway yeah you can do that that's how I've been fishing I've been doing this method for a couple hours and it seems like it's pretty decent so far it's much much more relaxing than C2 fishing uh, I think on a normal day I would do C2 fishing because C2 fishing is a little bit faster than this. Um, I believe this is about 90 kxp an hour and C2 fishing is about 110 kxp an hour. So normally I would do C2 fishing, but since I'm doing fish flingers and the fisherman guy for fish flingers is just north of here, so it's a quick little run to the fish flingers um, place. And also while fishing here, you can have a chance of getting fish flinger tickets. I've caught a couple. Uh, well, if you fish on a normal fishing spot, you have a chance of getting a fish flingers ticket, which means another game. So that's pretty useful as well. I've gotten a couple extra fish flingers tickets just from fishing here. Um, while fishing and engineering, you don't get fish flingers tickets, so that's one of the downsides of that. But um, normally I would do C2 fishing, but just mostly because of fish flingers and the fact that I'm absolutely exhausted and C2 fishing requires a lot more concentration, uh, I have been here instead. So... Yeah, if you find this method interesting, um, you might want to check it out. Again, you do have to have mouse keys set up unless you want to double click for every drop, which isn't the worst thing. It's just a lot faster with mouse keys. Um, and I know, I don't think mouse keys work on laptops or anything, so uh, if you are playing on a laptop, this might not work for you. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure if mouse keys don't work on laptops since I don't play on a laptop, but um, anyway. That's all. I just wanted to show you guys this pretty cool fishing method, and that's about what I'm doing while uh, putting off having to sleep, which is really what I should be doing. But hey, who sleeps when they're three le oh, not three, nearly three levels away from Max Cape? There will be no rest until there is a Max Cape. Well, I'll probably sleep tonight, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for watching, and farewell.